We're live. We're live. Yay. Yay. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Um, I'm Mike. Uh, Jake might have, or may have, or may, may not have mentioned my name in previous videos of his. Um, I, well, a bit about me. Uh, my name's Mike. Uh, I think we've got past that bit. Uh, I've been modelling since. Wasn't there? When, when, was, when was the dinosaurs about? Well, at least 10,000 BC. 1800, something like that. Something like that. Anyway, <laughs> yeah. no, I've, I've been modelling since, uh, since the 80s, very different types uh, aircraft, helicopters, cars, not so much on the boats as lack of places to use them, but uh, yeah. Um, today, here we have um, Jake's, was it? Fit 500, isn't it? Yeah, looks like it. 500 and we're putting the decal set on it and a lot of people look at the decals for the first time and they go one of a few one of a few ways either oh uh, no i want somebody else to do this and they'll go nah that's exactly why i mean that. <laughs> other people look at it and go yeah that's fine just cut it all out and slam them on um great good go for it because uh, you know it's, it's like anything T to make it look like it does on the box takes a lot of practice and uh, you need to get through a few kits so today I'm going to hopefully show you a couple of ideas that might help um, and they don't look too bad do they? No, they that Porsche came up yeah right? the Martini Porsche quite right yeah that uh, yeah I did a review on that yeah that, that's two days of my life I will never get back <laughs> I don't know you could do a bargain with the devil how many times can you do that? <laughs> <laughs> I think Britney Spears has done it too many times. Uh, yeah, I thought I met her there somewhere. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> right. <clears throat> right. Things needed, generally, for for uh, for for a Tamiya kit, or Tamiya kit, or Tamiya Tamiya. We've already had that discussion. <laughs> yeah. For for uh, for for a Tamiya kit, generally you need scissors. Good to have a sharp blade, whether it be a scalpel or something similar, a craft knife or something like that. Obviously the stickers, the body's always a good help. Um, and these are the odd ones. Warm water and washing up, hand soap. Um, very liquid. Very liquid. No, you can't, you can't say the names because oh. you're not promoting them. I'm not promoting very liquid. <laughs> you know? So, um, usually about, uh, I don't know, about a cap full in a sort of a container of about yay size that's my, sort of my hand so it gives you an idea um just a drip in the bottom i usually put about half a cap bottle a pot bottle caps worth of fairy liquid in there and then just swill it around under the tap to start getting some stuffy bottles the reason for that will be explained soon and a hairdryer probably thinking why a hairdryer well i was thinking the same thing but that will all come clear later with these stickers, one thing I found is when they're cold, they're not very supple. No. So you'll find that when you try and go like the compound curves and things like this, where you're trying to go around that sort of stuff, if you cut it out and put it on, it looks good. It looks fine. And then about a week later, after you've run it for a bit, they go boink and yeah. they'll stick up around the edges. The idea of using the uh, hairdryer is you're basically memorising, or I'll say memorising, the, the sticker into its position. You're, you're making it supple, you're soft, softening it up. So when you put it on there, if you heat the thing up, it'll go soft, it'll go around all the curves, and that's where it'll stay. It'll, it'll stay like that. Um, so it's almost like setting the sticker. So it allows you to manipulate it to go around curves and be supple and move around. And then once it's gone through its heat phase, it'll, it should uh, it should hopefully stay in that position. Now, weirdly, and this is where it does get weird, you'd think, well, if I put it in soapy water, isn't that going to take all the sticky off? Yeah. Weirdly, it doesn't. No. Nope. As long as you don't handle it too much. So generally, what I do is I'll take the sticker off, I'll run it through, so I won't submerse it in there for ages. I'll literally rub it through. Stick it on to the side, and the idea of that, so we're probably thinking, what, what's that for? So you can move the sticker around. Yeah, makes sense. Yep. 
Otherwise, you try and line it up and then you put it on and it will go maybe that way or that way and then you got to try and pull it off. And every time you try and pull it off, it either tears, stretches or it, it, it just doesn't go well, man. It just yeah. doesn't go well. Yeah. Um, so yeah, bring it in there, put it onto the side of the model and then you can manipulate it round. Yeah. Once you've manipulated it round, I generally hold it and get a, a cloth. Ideally, you want a cloth or tissue like this which is non-fibrous because you don't want any of the fibers going into the sticker ideally no um hold it along and then literally squeegee squeegee the liquid out and then what i do then is i hit it with the hair dryer to hold it in place and then heat it that gets rid of the excess moisture underneath it and also allows you to wipe it over again to get into the compound curves in fact so much so that um, on your Porsche where the panel lines and things especially on the bonnet there's a couple of round indents yeah. you can actually now see the indents underneath the sticker yeah if you just put the sticker straight on top of that you'd never see it but doing that technique of heating it up and then rubbing it down it'll it'll go in right also another couple of essential and i mean essential things for modeling one coffee always two snacks yeah three music always listening to music whilst i'm doing this it makes me concentrate it's brilliant yeah and some sort of therapeutic device <laughs> and last but not least for their moments of glory thug life glasses you can only put these on in moments of glory that's right the thug life glasses followed by a rap tune Q Snoop Dogg right uh, the other thing, which I forgot to mention earlier, the instructions, very invaluable. The not only building the mechanical side, but the painting and the sticker side also. Um, so I mean, sometimes you can get away with just getting stickers and then just sticking them on in whatever order. But I have found on some of the kits that there is a specific order number to how the stickers go on because one sticker will follow the next and will follow the next or they'll blend together so it's worth doing it from the instruction manual and going one two three four through yeah um let's say sometimes you can get away with it you can just stick them where you want but other times if they're a little bit intricate you, you know your Porsche it's not the most intricate I've done but even that had a few stickers where it said one two three and the idea was it followed the lines round yeah and sometimes you could put a sticker on willy-nilly and the next thing you know it's like oh that one won't line up with that one properly or so on and so forth so yeah. it's kind of worth doing even if it doesn't need it it, it puts you in good stead and you know it's uh, gives you some sort of logical order um so we probably won't use them no <laughs> <laughs> uh, Right, stickers, what do we have here? Uh, yeah, because even in this one, it doesn't actually show these stickers yeah. in the instruction manual, does it? No. Although, yeah. weirdly, back of the manual, we've got what is, I'm saying, represented of these stickers down the side here. Yeah. Oh, which is quite useful. Did I miss that in the instruction manual? I nope. didn't see it in no. I didn't. No. It is not. God, these instruction manuals, they're just full of words and things and... I, 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 don't I don't know. I just build things. Something, and you think, oh, what's that? And then something starts to peel up on the corner. Yeah. And then you peel it, and then the whole thing comes off in one, and then you've got a bag with all the stickers on it. <laughs> yeah. It's to cover it from the outside from paint. Yeah. So basically, when you clean it and spray it in the inside for the first time, once that's done, there will be a film on it. Remove the film, then put the decals on. Yeah. Because yeah, that's, that's why looking through these books are sometimes important. Yeah. <laughs> All right, there we go. Um, I think we might start off with... Um, Number one. 
That's a good idea. Which is that rear bumper, bumper plate. Yeah. Which is there. Right, interestingly, that does actually have some cutouts here and here, which means that's going around a curve generally. Right, so. Don't know if you can see that, but. You see there's a split in there? Uh, yeah, always worth making sure if you've got. Clean your hands, wash your hands before you start this. That'll help stop the um, oils and things sticking to the body. Uh, I'll just use your t-shirt, in this case the man cave t-shirt. Let's get a field of white. I've already cleaned my hands anyway. Good. Right, the non-fibrous uh, Foofly on Tanglia. The, the Jimmeling Ding. Right. <coughs> Blade. <clears throat> if you're uh, if you're smaller than a small person, or, or you do have a mini me, I would suggest probably getting an adult or someone to help you with this section. But if there's only adult people watching, then um, <laughs> uh, why have you got a knife in your hand? <laughs> uh, these ones have luckily already been cut out. So I usually find the tip of the blade to pull the sticker out. Being careful, of course. Put the blade under, my thumb over it, without twisting it over, because otherwise you will jab your finger. As, uh, as the food in the hospital is good, I don't recommend it. Literally like this. Uh, run it through, and then just literally drip off the access. And now, you might want to bring it over here. Where are we going? Alright, so it is actually going over the bumper. And the thing with that is now I could move it round. See? Ba -ba! And you can get it lined up to exactly where you want it. Get your squeegee rag. I'd like to just like to add this is the first time I've done the uh, theatre bath, so if I balls this up, you have my permission to laugh. So I'd squeegee that over there, squeegee that. Always keep and hold of the sticker because obviously when you rub it, it will try and uh, escape. Escape. Now, this is. Now I heat it up. Start in the middle, work out. I'm going to get it hot so it's almost starting to curl a little bit. And then... And then okay. What I'm doing is I'm doing my fingers either side of the curve and then bringing them together, like that. So see, then it uh, brings that sticker in. As you can see, the moisture is starting to dissipate from underneath it, because it's actually starting to stick down. When I first saw that, I thought, you mad, stick a sticker in water and washing up liquid, and it's going to lose all its sticky. It really doesn't. As long as you don't handle it too much. So when you put it in, you notice I didn't touch the underneath of the sticker. How long you hold this on, you get used to. It'll depend on the hairdryer you've got and the thickness of the sticker and yeah. But, uh, it's like anything, I would suggest the first time you do it is use a scrap of the bodywork that you cut out and a scrap of the stickers and actually uh, use the scraps to put on the um, scraps of the, the bodywork so where you cut the wheel arches out and things like that cut out a section of 
the sticker that's unused and um, basically make four little marker points make a square or something out of the sticker and then do the same thing line it up between the marker points and then give it a go with the hairdryer and everything yeah it gives you know so you, before you actually start on the stickers and if you find that you're putting it on and it's not sticking down properly just keep on going over it with the hairdryer probably still means there's some moisture in it and if it still doesn't stick down after that well it, the whole thing bug it <laughs> <laughs> yep throw it in the bin give it up and just try something else Oh yeah, I keep on forgetting, it's uh, it's one of the moving picture things, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> There's me sat here waiting for the photo to be taken. No, it's actually a movie. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, there you go. It's now curved around the... Uh... Yeah, it looks really good. It's not bad. It's it's like everything. Right, it's, still, it's, You'd be hi it's like everything. Everything you do, it, it, you'd always be hypercritical. Some people won't be. They'll be like, yeah, that's fine. Other people are like, no, I can see... Oh no, is that, there's a lump under there or whatever. A bit like me where I buy stuff for the shop. Yeah, basically. Yeah, basically. The box is damaged as well, haven't it? One thing I have noticed about doing it in this way too, you don't get the ballooning under the sticker. No. It uh, gets rid of the ballooning. Because as you're heating it up and everything, and all the moisture, the air goes out with it. Yeah. So you, that's why you, there's no air bubbles under it. Yeah. So that does work really quite well. Um, I was saying to Jake a minute ago, with um, if they're aluminium type stickers, sometimes they can take a little bit more warming because um, they obviously got some sort of metallic material or something in there. Um, so yeah, give them a, a little bit more heat um, as you're doing it. Okay. All right, now we're starting on sticker number two or number two. Which is a big one. This is the big one, and I don't mean that crap sitcom with Sandy Toxic. Say him again, peel that off. There's probably going to be people out there that go, no! What are you doing? Or, oh, I don't like his technique, and, and my elbow's right in front of that camera. Yeah, it's all right. They'll be like, oh, what's Just be putting the soapy water again. Yeah. <laughs> uh, move your bigger. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thing you can uh, flip it around a bit, which is nice. Also, at this stage, if you do get it wrong, you can pull her away as well, which is nice. Start in the middle and work out. Uh, when you're happy with it, and it's I'm usually stuck in the middle, that's usually when I bang the hairdryer on it. I would say this, this is just the way I do it, it's my technique. There are better ways, there are worse ways of doing it. It's just... If what you could, works for you? Yeah, basically. That's the, that's the beauty of modelling, it's not... With modelling... It's not, oh, my way is the way and that's how it should be. I say to anyone that's getting into it, get as much information as you can from as many different sources and then make up your own mind. Because what works for someone else might not work for you. And there might be someone who goes, oh, after you do it like this, you do it like that. And they, and they may be wrong. It, you know, it's, it's one of those things that... You pick up over the years little techniques that work for yourself. And as I say, and I say to everyone, is 
get as much information from everyone that you can and make it your own mind. And that is the beauty of modelling. Yeah. One thing you will learn also is patience. A lot of patience. If you're one of these people that go, I must have it there instantaneously. Well, yeah, the the society with, I say, modelling how it is now, you can do that. But if you want to build something, or you want to put something together, or you want to achieve something which is your own, then you need to go at it. You need, you know, you need to, you need the patience for it. And you will learn patience. I learned patience. I was always quite scatty as a kid. Going, oh, oh yeah, must do everything. Um, uh, it is. It's, it's frustrating sometimes because you do something, it goes wrong, and you think the whole thing's ruined and everything. At the beginning, just bang it together. Practice makes perfect. Yeah, yeah, literally bang it. And the because I, I didn't know what practice was, weirdly. Um, and I learned that, and it's literally, do something, it doesn't matter how it comes out, just do something, and then the next time we come to do it again, you might go, oh, I'll do that differently, or oh, I'll do that differently. Um, uh, I mean, me, I'm always still bloody hypercritical about what I do, it's like, oh, that could have been better, or oh, it always balls that bit up, and... You always will find little things like that. No one in this world is perfect. Except for Jake over there, behind the camera. The man is a god. Well, not, let's play. Huh? Maybe a god, not the god. I'm bigging you up. For, I'm, not, I'm trying to big you up. <laughs> You're just the guy for the faster need. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. You've only just learned to speak, haven't you? So. <laughs> only took me 24 years. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Have you, have you managed to plug a microwave into a tree yet? Get it close. Get we're, making, we're, making, <laughs> we're making progress every day. Right, so as Jake's just pointed out, the only uh, technique that we're using for this is for this reason. As you can see in here, we've got the window lines and they're recessed. So there's a, there's a lump there, there's a lump here. Now, if you put the sticker on normally, you could rub it after a while, you might get it in there. But this technique, by allowing you to sort of manoeuvre it round, should hopefully mean you'll get into the correct lines for the border. But also with the um, heat, it should not melt, but it'll make it'll uh, make the sticker supple to go inside the creases around the window. So you should get the reflection that when you're moving it around, you'll see there's a like a recess where the light is. Right, so same again in the water, drain most of it off onto your lap so it looks like you're incontinent. Right, it gets interesting. You do realise now because this is on camera I'm going to balls the whole thing up completely and I think it'll be a waste of time. <laughs> right, here we go. Somewhere about... yay! Look at that, it's almost professional! Only almost. Almost. <laughs> Let's just start in the middle. Start wiping most of it out. You know when you hold it in a spot for too long because the edge of the stickers will start going and they start doing that very quickly. Take the heat away and wipe it. Not too hard though. No. doing the inside of that window first. Yeah, the idea of using a non fibrous cloth or anything like that is it'll stop it from creeping around the side of the sticker and stopping it from sticking down. Which can be a pain in the giraffe. in a little dot so I can rub it in all the corners. It's like anything, just take your time with it. If you can't take your time with it, 
But I already made one. Would have sent it to you. Oh, would have sent it to some <laughs> sod like me, really. <laughs> Spent hours of their life they'll never get back putting something together like this. Some would say life well spent though. Yeah, I'd like to meet these people. <laughs> <laughs> nah, it's good. I, to be honest with you, I find it very therapeutic. Um, yeah, same here. Best way to do it, I find, is if you like that sort of thing, do the thing they did on Iron Eagle years ago. Stick your headphones on, listen to some decent music whilst you're trying to blow things. I mean, uh, whilst you're trying to do things. There. If anyone's ever seen Iron Eagle, that's a great aircraft movie. It was like the uh, the Top Gun that wasn't as famous. I haven't seen it in ages. I have to watch that again. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. And here we are, the bath done in all its former glory. Uh, that's only taken ten minutes. Yeah, it wasn't that long. If if that. So, Didn't even uh, have time to drink my drink. Didn't no no. This is how quickly we work. It's the magic of Mike. Yeah, magic absolutely. Mike. Exactly. Right, uh, let's do another one. Yeah. Go. Are you drinking there? Put the mug down. Right, to recap. What are we recapping? I have no idea. Right, this is where we are at so far. Uh, got the window stickers on, uh, front windshield, rear windshield, the sunroof and all that. And some of the trim stickers down the side, using the same technique. Um, also started on the, the front little 500. That was made up of a couple of stickers that's had to go around a, a few curves so that took a, a lot of manipulating and heating up. We say the more heat you can get on it the, sort of the better it is to, to get it to sort of mould round. Uh, front vents is on there as well. Um, the nice thing about heating it as well is, and actually you probably won't be able to see it, but there's a tiny little lip that kicks up at the back of the sticker which rolls up onto the top screen. Um, pretty much the only, the only way I know of doing it is by this technique otherwise it uh, butts up against it or it just doesn't work it just, just, just doesn't work um we are going to carry on because I say this is this has been a couple of hours so far to do it yes I know people are oh I've done it in five minutes but uh, yeah if you can brilliant but we've you know we've taken our time we've got to do other things so. we're professionals <laughs> allegibly allegibly <Yeah. laughs> One of us are. Yeah, one of them. Yeah. Um, so yeah, this is where we're at so far. So we'll probably do a, another video. Um, I, I can't think. Is there any, anything else that you need to know? But yeah, I hope, I hope you enjoyed the video anyway. Uh, I think it's probably the first time. Is it the first time I've done a video like this? Yep, I think it has. So trying to work out what to say as you're doing it. It's uh, it's interesting. Um, yeah. Do I wear my thug like glasses? Yeah, put your fog light glasses on. Did you? Yeah, look. Yeah, yeah, it's just happened. <laughs>